all, I welcome all of you, all the guests, especially from Germany, on behalf of Sri Rajnath Singhji, Honorable Defense Minister and sitting member of Parliament from Lucknow, and on my behalf. It had been really a mind-boggling session. It triggered my thinking. I passed out MSc Physics in 1970, 52 years ago. And my minister also is MSc in Physics. And many a times we used to just communicate in those wavelengths. And you could understand quickly. So I was thinking, classical physics said there are only three dimensions. The fourth one was added with the invent of Einstein that time. And now I am witnessing innumerable dimensions, innumerable dimensions. Like in integral calculus we used to do from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is what I am witnessing today. Minus infinity to plus infinity. God had blessed us with certain sensors, but they are quite few in comparison to what I witnessed here. <coughs> I witnessed here. And I want to emphasize that you are entering Lucknow at a very, very right point of time. You are going to have a huge market here in this city. Why? See, Lucknow used to be a very traditional old kind of city with no trade, no commerce, only some scientific labs under CSIR and some good institutions. Very small population and no master planning. It all began in year 2000 when we started urban planning to develop the city in all aspects, all kind of activities. It is started. There, it is started only with a small part of a ring road and a whole new habitation along Shahid from 24 kilometers long came up. It's just completely different skyline. For last 20 years, Lucknow added one lakh population and one lakh vehicles every year. The population was 22 lakhs in 2000. Now it is becoming around 5 millions. Number of vehicles was only 5 lakhs in 2000. And now it is reaching around 27 lakhs registered vehicles and the growth is continuing. With this tenure of Mr. Ratnath Singh in 2014, see the earlier ring road, earlier Shahid Path was also got constructed by him only in 2000 when he was Minister Surface Transport in the Central Government. And then again in 2014, when he was elected MP from here, he said, what else now we can do? I suggested him an outer ring road will do a lot, contribute a lot, then railway terminus, and then augmentation of water supply in River Gomti. He started all with that. In 2015, 104 kilometer long, eight plane outer ring road was sanctioned with a cost of 6,000 crores. It was declared in May 2015. And during four quarters in year 2016, Night Frank Global Agency marked Lucknow in top 10 cities in the world which recorded fastest growth in the urban land prices. 
again in 2018, when the Civil Aviation Ministry conducted a survey, it found that the air traffic footfall grew fastest in Lucknow at the rate of 24%, while the rate of growth in the country was around 13%. When the government of India sanctioned around 1400 crore, 1400 crores for expanding its handling capacity from 5.5 5 .5 million to 10 million, which is in progress. Then the master planning, urban planning work was taken up. We had only two, three things in mind. Since uh, I was associated with the Development Authority of Lucknow, I had two tenures. So I learned a lot of uh, urban planning, a lot about urban planning. And the concept was that with very fast mobility and huge consumer demand, we can change the scenario. So we worked on that. Inner mobility as well as outer mobility. Lucknow at present is connected or is going to be connected with all around cities of the of this state with three expressways and seven highways, more than four lane and six lanes. So and this geographic dividend is very important. It is almost the center of a population of around 32 crores. And around other states also. Big demand if the mobility is very fast. Incidentally, another important development was construction of Ram Mandir. By next year, when it is completed, end of the next year, we expect that around 3 crore, 30 million people per year will pass through Lucknow to visit Ayodhya. And we expect when they return, since Ayodhya doesn't have so much of a staying facility, hotels and all, people we like to stay overnight at least here in Lucknow, visit Lucknow heritage areas, witness Lucknow's tazeeb. So there will be a lot of boost to hospitality, hospitality industry. At the moment, even warehousing industry is growing at a very fast pace. And in the meantime, Honorable Defense Minister, got Brahmos Missile Factory inaugurated uh, just a uh, stone, stone laying ceremony and factory compound is under construction. The state government has given 200 acres of land along with a testing lab faci facility of DRDO. Brahmos Missile Factory is assisted by more than 100 ancillaries in the production of missiles. So what we expect in near future is a lot of ancillaries in the defense sector, very huge congregation of warehousing, and a huge development in hospitality sector. That is definitely going to give you, provide you huge market here only, here only. So this is why I told you that this is the very right time when you have entered. You are going to enjoy a very huge market. With this thing in mind, we recommended to the government that in the pattern of the national capital region around Delhi, we must expand our development boundary B 
beyond district of Lucknow. So his state capital region was envisaged and the government has almost approved it and we will be having uh, orders issued very early. Because the pace of development is so fast, so high, that we require huge land. With this level of activity, activity, you will enjoy the market. And then, simultaneously, we are going to have, going to face lot many problems. Growing population, growing pressure on utilities, day-to-day -day facilities, problems of transport, hospitals, and so many other things. They will all require your help. And incidentally, we are going to, we are again under, I, I recommended to the state government in way back in 2019 that your plan is obsolete and you must uh, get it revised as soon as possible. Government ordered that and the revision of the master plan is uh, just on and next week, very next week, we are going to have a presentation and a discussion throughout the sectors uh, in Lucknow Development Authority. I was just thinking that we will invite you. How, how do you suggest tackling so many emerging problems which, which, are, which have not been to our experience and how those problems can be handled? So many things I was just...